Ben is why do you hate your own daughter this much? Why do you hate her this much? Yeah, Colin. Why are you always against me? Why are you always against me? Isn't it bad enough that I married a man that does not respect my God, my belief, or my church? And now you accuse me of hating my own child? Venice, <laughs> what have I ever done to you? Haven't I been a good husband enough for you, Venice? <laughs> I have even pleaded with you several times to please work together with me on this business. Just a little support from you, but you won't give it to me. Oh, Collins! Yeah, Collins! You are a very ungrateful man. I pray for you, our child, and your life every single day. And now I'm not a supportive wife. Yeah, boy. My papa was right. Yeah, boy. I married a sinner. channel on. Can't you sometimes just pray alone and bring down the volume? You see the one who instructed you people to cry? Because from the look of things you've been crying. By the way, how is our princess? How is she doing? She's Is she okay? Let me quickly check up on her. Go and I'm keeping going. Hey, my princess, are you okay? Hey, you're shivering. Come on, are you all right? Babe, please, I need some water and a hand towel, please, fast. It's okay. It's okay. What it's happened? Okay, my princess. She has been shivering all along. I have it. It's okay. It's okay. Just calm down, right? Papa, my knees. Your knees? Papa, my knees are hurting. Your knees are hurting? It's okay. It's alright. It's alright, my princess. Father, 
Don't stress yourself, all right? At least right now, I have the full amount of money that we need to go to India for the transfer. So you don't have to bother yourself. All right? You'll be well again. So we'll come down, my princess. Just get it right. You'll be okay. It's okay, my princess. Just come back with me, okay? Alright? Oh, it's okay. You, thank you, It's okay. Just relax. Just relax. Just come down and have some sleep. It's okay. Well, we got an office stop with our because we are still moving to a seven days long time. I think we should just completely leave Pamela for good. Listen, if there's anything we are supposed to be worried about right now, it's me here. I have to get that marrow transplant done in India. I believe that she will get her healing. I strongly believe in God that me here will get her healing. We are all looking forward to it. I wish I could, but I can't. You know, I'm still looking extremely very beautiful like you did on the first day we met at Danvo's GVHS Bamenda. I remember. I was in lower seat by then, yeah? And Mr. Nee, Black Jesus, was in class teaching maths. And he wrote an equation on the board, find X. He has this attitude of randomly picking students to answer questions. And that was my unfaithful day. He picked me and he made me a terrible at math. Okay. With a chalk in my hands, I boldly wrote, X is found in Jesus' name. <laughs> the whole class burst into <laughs> laughter. The whole class burst into laughter and they replied, Amen. No. That was how Mr. Nee was so annoyed. He was so pissed. And that was how I was sent to the school from to have his miss as punishment. And there you were, my biggest temptation. Oh, <laughs> you can see that again. You know, I'm sure you're referring to this handsome prefect, you know, that was sent to do a follow up on you. You know, I still remember that special moment we had that actually gave us our beautiful gift of a princess. The sin that God is punishing us with. Ah, ah, watch your tongue. Don't say that. You know, I remember the, the stench of my parents' faces when they discovered that their 16-year-old daughter was pregnant. A pastor's child. They were angry, they disowned me, and they threw me out of our own church. That was when I heard Pastor John's message at the roadside on a TV. His words were, let us rid ourselves of everything that stands in the way and of every sin that holds us so tight and let us run with determination the race that stands before us let's keep our focus on jesus christ on whom our faith depends from the beginning to the end of course i remember you have recited this scripture here more than a hundred times you have no idea you always just received me like their own regardless that i was a sinner see babe. The reason why I recounted this whole story is so that, you know, it can rekindle the fire that used to burn in us back then. That way it will help us to get intimate again, if you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm fasting, please. Again? What do you mean by again? We need prayers. We need prayers to break loose from this punishment that God is punishing us. We need prayers. Suit yourself.
Jesus Christ, there is part mighty in the blood. God, you are good. Father, I thank you for the husband that you have blessed me with. I pray now that the seed that I have sown in your name, O God, will manifest in the name of Jesus. Heal our daughter, O Prince of the Heavenly Gate, and let every curse be broken. Let every curse be broken. Let every curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every curse be broken. 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 Let every curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every curse be broken. Let every curse be broken. Let every curse be broken. Let every curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Let every curse be broken. Let the curse be broken. Let the curse be broken. Let the curse be broken. Let every 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 curse be broken. Papa, good morning. Good morning, my princess. How are you feeling this morning? Better. I'm making eggs for breakfast. Oh, I can see that. You're making eggs for me. You know, this reminds me of when... When mama used to fry eggs, it's so much sad. <laughs> Don't forget something so soon. Anyway, that was when I knew she was in love with me. Okay, let me leave you continue what you're doing, but just be careful with it, okay? Okay, Papa. That's my princess. Morning, sir. Yeah, how are you? Fine, sir. Um, Liam, so you are not aware that it is a ghost town and moving around is dangerous? Ma. My, my house isn't far from here, and I just thought I could use this opportunity and study with Mia against our opening exams. And you are not saying anything.
Through Yahweh's church, Papa. May we be strengthened. Through Yahweh's church. Oh, Sister Denise. Yes, Papa. I saw the bountiful seed you sow on behalf of your daughter. Yes, sir. Just wait. You will see what God will do for you. Amen. I should Hallelujah. keep your hands in your pocket. So shall the, the, the heavens open the blessings for you. Amen. Ah. Thank you, Papa. Now, uh, you will continue to fast for seven days and seven nights and await further instructions, okay? Oh, okay, sir. Um, uh, <laughs> may we be strengthened. Through your wish, church, Papa. Something just came to my mind. Uh, please just have a seat. This guy, Liam, do you by chance know if any member of his family is suffering from sickle cell? Why? Mm, I just realized he has really been so close with our daughter lately, so I just want to be careful. You see, the other day I saw them holding hands while coming back from school. I did not like it. See, that's how we started and the next thing was a scene. Can you stop saying that? Look, Liam is the only true friend our daughter has got right now, all right? So the much you can do is leave them alone. How do you look for the adjoin? Mm, it's not difficult. You just look at the example the teacher gave her for the simple. <sighs> this is so difficult. Um, I have something to tell you, but I don't know how you're going to take it. Tell me. My papa says the money is complete for me to go to India. Wait. You're leaving Cameroon? Not forever. It's for the bone marrow transplant so I can be well. Um, Mia, I heard bone marrow transplant is a 50% chance. Isn't, isn't it dangerous? I'll take my options over constant pain. Hold on. I just received a message from Dr. Rajis. I've been expecting to have him on a Zoom call. He has sort of sent a message. Let me see what he's talking about. Serious. There's good news. There's also bad news. So which one do I begin with? Good news, I guess. So he's making me to understand that he has been able to secure a donor. Wow, which I think is good. And he says, since we don't have other kids that would have facilitated the process for our daughter, which would have been likely between 80 to 90 percent, since this donor is unconnected to us, so the maximum percentage we can get is 65, which I don't think is bad. What do you think? Now, on to the bad news. He says you are obliged to make the payment available within the next seven days. Seven days? But at least for the fact that he has been able to secure a donor. Remember, we lost the first one. Now he has been able to get another one. That can guarantee us at least 65%. I think that is good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But wait, did I just hear you say Jesus? What do you mean? I don't remember ever telling you I don't believe in Jesus Christ. I just don't believe in that you are so-called Pastor John of the Yahweh Miracle Whatsoever Church oh, and so on. Please, please, please. Pastor John is a powerful man of God, a spirit-filled man of God. I don't know why you're always doubting the grace that he carries. Really? What true man of God advises a married man's wife not to have another child with him? And have another cursed child. 
Will you stop saying that? Listen, babe, this thing is not as bad as you think. At least we still got about 25% chances of having another child with AA. Even you with the faith you claim you have, I expect you to believe that it's possible. Mia can be healed. Through our faith in God, Mia can be healed. Enough! Please, I'm tired of hearing this thing. I'm not going to keep on debating about this with you. As a matter of fact, the 5 million francs I gave you a couple of weeks back to put in your account, I need you to transfer the entire sum into Dr. Rajesh's account. As soon as the lockdown is over, we are traveling to India for that transplant. As for the logistics, I'm the second in line in our Jangi house who has been approved for a loan. At least that one will also help us to sort out other expenses. What money? Look, if you eat well, drink fluids, not do stressful work, have the love of your parents and mine, you'll be fine and live to 60. Your love. That's all you got from what I said. Ah! Venice! You gave five million francs that is made for our daughter's transplant to a church in the name of sowing a seed? But my husband, it's a bountiful seed. A seed for our daughter's, our daughter's healing. Really? Okay, fine. Did you ask for my permission? No, no, no. Did you seek my consent before doing it? Venice, get on the phone now. I need you to call that scammer to send my money. Get on the phone. Call him faster, and I want you to put it on loudspeaker. I want to hear every part of the discussion. God, this is not happening. Please, be fast about it. Put it on loudspeaker. Hello, Papa. May we be strengthened? Draw your waist, church. <laughs> Sister Venice. Papa, my father said my husband said you should return the money. What money? The money, sir. Are you talking about the seed money? Yes. Uh, uh, dear Sister Venice, do not succumb to the pressure of a sinner, which is your husband. Give me, Papa. Give it to me. Uh, Pastor John, please, that money was meant for my daughter's transplant, so I need you to refund it. Please! Mr. Kambi, a seed is a seed. I do not owe you money. I did not receive any transaction from you. The Yahweh's Church of Miracle does not do financial reforms, but spiritual reforms. You are mad. You are sick in the head. Listen, let's even reason it for a second. Uh, Pastor John, if you are indeed a true man of God, a seed sown worth five million francs is too much, especially at this time. That money was meant for my daughter's transplant. Please, I need you to refund it to me. Uh, uh, look, Mr. Kambi, I pity you. You are a poor sinner who doesn't want to repent. Your daughter is cursed. To believe that curse, this is the price you have to pay. I implore you to wait for seven days and you shall see the miracle. Listen to me. Who do you think you are in the first have place? A nice day. Le Hello? Have you seen it? Have you seen it, Benis? Are you happy now? What is all this? <laughs> Benis! Benis! Benis, you have killed me! My mind is made up. I'm just saying, rather than take a 50% chance, you can take this one. The life you're living, your friend, me. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Friend, huh? Are we just friends? Come on. Come on. Mia. Jesus. Mommy, I have to lie down. 
There shall be no pain. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Yahweh, there shall be no more pain. 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 Remove every pain from this place. There shall be no more pain. It's okay. Go to your rest. And come and bring your medications, okay? Yes. And what was the meaning of that? Did you see I was in the video of a very powerful morning devotion? Penis, you are beginning to push me too hard in this house. If you want to see the true nature of Satan in human form, try and put up that man's channel on this TV again in this house. One more time. Just one more time. You are definitely not the man I married. Oh. Have you also asked yourself if you are still the woman I got married to? That aside, now listen to me. I'm giving you the next available 48 hours to make available my money to me. I don't care how you are going to make that happen. But listen, if you fail to do that, I'm going to bundle you alongside everything that you brought to this house. Back to your parents' homes. Yahweh. Yes, I mean every word of it. Amen. Oh, for I'm sure I never have a broken marriage. Oh. I destroy every spirit. Really? You should have thought of that before. Of marital failure. I cast and bind. I cast and bind. I cast and bind. There shall be no broken marriage. I shall not have a broken marriage. She shall come over every spirit of broken marriage. I shall not have a broken marriage. My parents not have a broken marriage. I shall not have a broken marriage. I come against every spirit of marital failure. Every spirit of denial in my house. Oh no. Father, remove every spirit of denial in my husband. So that he shall one day testify of your glory. Jesus, come into there shall be no curse, there shall be no marital failure, there shall be no denial. Princess, just ignore your mother and I, okay? Couples normally fight sometimes. It's something adults usually do.
Hi. Um, sorry for budging in on you. My name is Collins. And uh, I read your post on the Twitter in which you're recounting your story of how you got scammed of the sum of 10 million pounds by one Pastor John of, you know, Yahweh something something church like that. Oh, hello Collins. My name is Julian. How much did he scam of you? Five million francs. Okay. Oh, uh, why don't you come see me in Douala so that we can see him? That's where he's based, right? Um, I would have actually loved to do that, but the issue is I'm quite far off. I'm far off in Bamenda, and so we are currently in a ghost town period. So it's kind of impossible for me to make a movement. So do you mind if we continue the discussion here? Oh, okay, I understand that. Okay, so your wife gives him five million francs to schedule for his child medical procedure. Exactly. So please, in a case like this, how do I recover the money? But the truth be told, she wasn't actually forced into doing the transaction. She did it out of her free will. Okay. Um. What has done to your what you has done to your wife, or mom, like me before? Is the worst kind of manipulation. He prayed my blind belief in God caused me to make unreasonable decisions. That man destroyed my life. I can't imagine. I lost everything, but thankfully, with a few victims, we formed a tax a tax force to expose him. Okay. Yes, he has refunded my money, but he has not stopped preying on other victims. So that's where the problem is. He has not stopped preying on other victims. So please. How do I go about getting my own money? Okay, um, I want you to do a video which narrates all that he has done to you and all the multiple manipulations on your wife. Okay. And we're going to post a video online. We're going to send a video to him and use it to manipulate, to, to manipulate him. Wow, that sounds interesting. That really sounds nice to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all of this. Thank you so much for your time. I'm really grateful. I'm going to do just that. Thank you so much for your time. All right, bye bye. Thank you, Jesus. I worship and give you praise. Thank you for answering prayers. Let your name be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hello, Papa. May we be strengthened? True, we are with church. Sister Benis. Papa. Have you, have you called to insult me? Uh, no, Papa. I called to beg on behalf of my husband. He does not know what he is doing. Please, sir, uh, find a place in your heart to forgive him. Church, my home shall be cleansed. Uh, now, now, I, I, I told you I will give you further instructions. Yes, sir. Are you still fasting? Yes, Papa. Have you slept with your husband? No. Are you sure? No, Papa. He attempted, but I resisted. Drugs. 
Yes, Papa. Food will stop the wave from today. She shall only eat two raw eggs daily. Put a pinch of salt in her bath water and finally anoint her with Yahweh's anointing oil every day. What? You will be strengthened. Through Yahweh's church. Through Yahweh's church, sir. Yes, Papa. Because he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Oh, yes. We are good on the darkness. Yes. Now, good on the darkness, let me pray for you. Yes, sir. Oh, Lord. Amen. Father, I am inviting your holy presence into the family. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. Something is wrong. Your mom is crying on the floor. Since yesterday, they have been fighting. I bought you some oranges. Your mom is here. Don't you think it's high time to stop pretending? I know, I know, I know. I was thinking after we, we write, we can tell them. That's too far. All right, all right, all right. Well, we can't tell them today. Maybe tomorrow, when everything's better. Please. Okay. Okay, I have to go now. In three days, the ghost will be over. Before I travel to India, I would like to take you out on a date. I can't wait. about that boy.
What are you doing? The right thing. The right thing. Trust are not a solution to a curse. Prayer is. Prayer is what? Eh? You want to beat me? Come and beat me in front of your daughter. Medications into the toilet. Not reminding the fact that today is ghost town. Man, what if she gets into a crisis now? How do we handle it from home? How do we even take her to the hospital? Benis, why do you hate your own daughter this much? Why do you hate her this much? Yeah, Collins, why are you always against me? Why are you always against me? Isn't it bad enough that I married a man that does not respect my God, my belief, or my church? And now you accuse me of hating my own child? <laughs> Benis, what have I ever done to you? Haven't I been a good husband enough for you, Benis? <laughs> I've even pleaded with you several times to please work together with me on this, Benis. Just a little support from you, but you won't give it to me. Oh, Collins, you're a Collins. You're a very ungrateful man. I pray for you, our child, and your life every single day. And now I'm not a supportive wife. Yeah, boy! My papa was right! Yeah, boy! I'm married a sinner! What? You call me a sinner? <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Mr. Kambi, good day. This is 
Pastor John of Yahweh's Church. Are you calling to refund my money now? What insolence! You dare to blackmail me? Did I steal from you? Huh? You have joined my enemies to bring me down. When all I have ever done is to save you, save your soul, you fool. Pastor John, are you sleeping with my wife? What nonsense question is that? Huh? Oh, if you are not sleeping with my wife, why then do you advise her not to sleep with me who happens to be her lawfully wedded husband? If you are a true man of God like you claim to be, why would you collect a whooping sum of five million francs from a woman without bothering to ask questions on how she got the money? And you have the guts to talk to me in that manner. For your information, that money was meant for my daughter's marrow transplant. And she gave it to you. In fact, I don't even know how you did it. But you collected that money from her. And it doesn't even bother you in any way. Who does that? Why would you be this wicked? She's only doing it for your own good. Alright? Just calm down, okay? Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. By the way, let me go and speak with her, okay? I'll be right back. I'm going to strangle you with my bare hands. And I was only trying to help. But I'm touching her. 
Drinking raw eggs? Who does that? Now listen to me. Maybe it's about time I state things clearly to you. If you are sick and tired of this marriage and of our daughter's condition, pack your things and leave this house. Maybe you should go and continue living with that pastor of yours. Leave us alone. Why will you say that to me? Now tell me. Are you blackballing Papa John? You are sick in the head. I have nothing more to tell you. Dennis, you know I love you, right? You are my wife. Mia is our daughter. I know you are not happy with the situation she's passing through at the moment. Neither am I. We both want to see her get well again. But trust me, the way you are going about it is definitely not the best. I mean, from flushing her drugs down the dolly train. Believe me, none of this is making sense. Right. You need to slow down. Edge! Hey. Collins, Edge! Hey. Why are you always against me? Now you tell me, why are you always against me? What kind of marriage is this? Is marriage not supposed to be a, a one-way thing? Why are you always against me? Now you want to send me back in and ridicule me in front of a church that took me in when my own parents threw me out. Of course you know that's not what I mean. All I'm asking you is to slow down. Try to be a little bit considerate. Dr. Rogers. Hello, Dr. Rogers. No, no, no. Are you happy now? Dennis. I'm giving you the next five minutes to gather every belonging of yours in this house. You are leaving my house today. You can locate and go stay with your pastor. I'm done with this marriage. Oh, 
Especially after what happened to you earlier today. I mean, I've been searching for you in the entire neighborhood. I couldn't find you. I even tried reaching you on phone. Your phone, your line was not connecting. Especially today, being a ghost town day. You guys can't just be moving around in the neighborhood just like that. It's too dangerous. What if something had happened to you both? I'm sorry, Papa. My phone went off. And we just stroll in the quarter. I'll eat some fruits. Now I feel a lot better. Please don't get mad at him. Are you sure about that? Yes, Papa. Come. Thank you, Leon. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um... Sir. Yes. I wanted to talk to you about Mia. About Mia? Okay, I'm listening. What about her? I... I am... Go ahead, talk to me. Feel free. Me and I are just friends. Okay. We are dating. You are dating. Mia, is that correct? It's true, Papa. I should have told you ever since. Two of you look at me. Have you two had sex? No, sir. No, Papa. Better. Let it stay that way. All right? Liam, are you aware my daughter is suffering from sickle cell? She's SS. Yes, yeah, 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 sir. Oh, you know about it? Wow. Do you know about your own status? Exactly the more reason why I say you two must abstain from sex. All right? Yes, and you also need to have a status check on your own self. Because the fact that you are feeling strong today does not necessarily translate to the fact that you are not ill. You might probably be, you know, an AS gene carrier without knowing. All right? So it is okay for now for you two to date. On condition that you will stay away from sex. Yes, Am I understood? Yes, sir. Great. Thank you, so sir. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um. Yes. You want to say something again? Go ahead, I'm listening. Feel free. Sir, so, before... Yes. Before you guys travel to India, I would like to take me out on a date. <laughs> That's okay, Leah. It's fine. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.
Thank you so much, Papa. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you, Papa. I love you too, my princess. That's my baby girl. <sighs> princess. Papa. There's something I would like to tell you. What is it, Papa? You know I love you so much, right? And I would do anything for you. You see, it actually hurts me to admit this to you, especially as a father that I am to you. That as a father, I have failed you, princess. Papa, what is this about? My princess. Papa. You won't be going to India again. But why? You see, I wasn't able to raise the entire amount of money that was needed for us to be able to make the movement. So right now, I really see myself like a failure. I'm disappointed you. No, Papa. <laughs> Papa, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. You always try to provide everything I need. I know I've been like a burden to you, but Papa, you're the best. I love you, Papa. I love you too. It's okay.
so broken hearted beyond repair yeah i love you i still love you i choose myself for you you choose yourself for someone else what could i do but i still love you i still love you so i keep working till i figure out my way it pains but what could i do i just need to be alone so i keep working till i figure out my way it pains but what could i do i just need to be to me, please. I need you to check on her. Something is wrong. Mia! Sasha. Mia! Mia! She's no longer responding. Tell me something is wrong. Probably she's in a crisis right now. Benis, please, I beg you in the name of God, open this door. I need to check what is going on with my daughter. Just open Fire. the door, please. Fire. Benis! If you don't open this door, I will break it down. Benis, I'm very, very serious about what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes,
you, you, you said that on the seventh day that she will be healed. Did you do everything correctly? Yes, sir. Yes. Did she try fast? Yes, for 12 hours. Who interrupted her fast? My husband. He opened the door. Sister Venice, your daughter is only asleep. She must complete her fast and she will be healed. This is midnight and by morning she will rise and be healed. Yes, May we be strengthened. Three hours. <laughs> Yes, I'm more than willing to join. Mia died last night. Communicating on the funeral arrangements. I did it myself. I bore the pain. You left me alone, but I kept moving on. She did a good remember. You said you never leave me. The love to don't entangle. Be like, say, me, are you caught, Siba? Or sick and don't know a boy, me, are you playing the shit? Bambi to Bali, come back, they remedy no we for Tabala. I still dead you are, say one day, I'll find my own. So I keep working till I figure out my way. It pains, but what could I do? I just need to be alone. So I keep working till I figure out my way. It pains, but what could I do? I just need to be alone till I find my way. Till I find my way. Till I find my way. Find my way. Sister Benis, please accept my condolences. 
about uh, the barrier arrangements. Uh, how is it going? Uh, um, we could do do a church ceremony at the Yahweh's church for a small fee of, uh, you know, one point five million francs. But uh, the way things are now, the way things are, please, I, I want you to, to to just beg your husband for me first. everything that you have done. Thank you.
my husband. When we all this signing treatment stuff, you don't even talk to me, you don't eat my food, you don't even touch me. Will you ever be able to forgive me? Forgive? Forgive you of what exactly? Of everything. How I handled our daughter's situation, how I disrespected you, how I disobeyed you. I even opened our home to ridicule. I obeyed my pastor over you. You have not sent me away. What kind of man are you? What will change in the situation, sending you away? Will you bring my princess back? I loved our daughter. I swear I never meant for her to die. Please forgive me. Give me another chance. Let's make amends. You know what? Just get up, go to your room, go and sleep. Please. Please switch off the light. It's for God. as a sin to ask for forgiveness and to thank you for the husband that you have given me and for the spirit of patience father i ask now that you come into my life oh god come into my family and protect us from danger father i come before you today and pray that you forgive and wash away my sins oh god and saturate my home father i also pray that you should save my marriage oh god save my marriage from every shackles of the enemy be the leader and the founder of this of this marriage father be the operator of this marriage father be the engine of this marriage father let your will be done let your will be done in this marriage let your will be done in our lives thank you holy spirit for answering prayers thank you for the spirit of patience in the mighty name of jesus i pray
so broken hearted beyond repair Yeah, I love you I still love you I choose myself for you You choose yourself for someone else What could I do? But I still love you I still love you So I keep working till I figure out my way It pains but what could I do I just need to be alone So I keep working till I figure out my way It pains but what could I do I just need to be alone Till I find my way Till I find my way Till I find my way